Hi, I'm Omid, and today I'm going to talk about custom function inside the Power Query. I'm going to tell you how to create custom function, how to create optional parameter in custom function, and how to use it over different files. Come with me and see this amazing video. Power Query includes a wide range of functions, but sometimes you need to create your own custom function and use it in your case. To do this, it's really easy inside the Power Query. You just need to create a blank query and write something, for example, equal to each underscore plus one. This is the easiest way to create a custom function in the Power Query. When you use each, it means that you create your own custom function. But this custom function just receive one value as an input which this input parameter is shown by underscore. So when you write each underscore, it means that, let's write each underscore, it means that it receives one item and return it that item as a result. So if I write here five and invoke it, it return five. If I write six and invoke it, it returns six. But in my functions, instead of writing each underscore, let's write underscore plus one. In this case, if I write five and invoke it, it returns six. It's added by one. And if I write, for example, 100 and invoke it, it returns 101. So this is the easiest way to create a custom function. I can expand it this function. Here, if I write something like this text and invoke it, see it return error because it cannot be added by one. So instead of these, I can say that if underscore is text, then return underscore and one, else return underscore plus one. Ah, we do not need to use return here. Yeah. See, if I'm writing 10 and invoke it, it's return 11. If I write some text and invoke it, it's return that text and 1. This is the easiest way to create a custom function, but it has a limitation. It just receives one input argument. If you want to create a function which receive more than one argument, you cannot use this syntax. Instead of using this, you can create a function like this. Put an argument inside the parentheses and then say equal, greater than, and then write your formula. This is the general signs for creating custom function inside the Power Query. You put the name of parameters inside this parenthesis and then you write your formula here for example you can say that x multiply by 10 see if i write 10 here or let's write 5 and invoke it it's multiplied by 10 so instead of just one argument i can write x and y and say x multiply by y yeah see we have two options x is 100, y for example is 0 0.10 and invoke it. It returns the value by multiplying x and y. Here is the name of function. Let's write tax as a name of function. Then use a more appropriate naming here. Let's write income as the first argument and tax rate as the second argument then the result would be income multiplied by tax rate yeah at this case we do not determine the type of the uh, parameters if you want you can write income as number and tax rate as number then say the result of this function would be number also. 
By doing this, you can see that here provide an example in type of number. If I change it here to text, the example would be changed. So let's say number. In this case, to use this function, you have to use both of the parameter. If you just write 10 here and invoke it, it mentioned that the second one is not provided. But if you want, you can add optional here. And in this case, if you write here 10 and invoke it, see, this is optional. You can invoke the function, but in the formula, we do not handle missing value. Here we can say that if tax rate is equal to null, then income multiplied by 10% else that formula now if I write for example 100 here and invoke it it's assumed that tax rate is 10% see the results I can use this custom function in any other queries in these files so let's create a blank data set Let's write this one as income and the next one as tax rate. Then say 100, 200, 300 and this one as a 10%. This one null, null and this one 50% for 500. Yeah. And press OK. This is a table. If you want, you can add a custom column. Let's write as a tax value. And here you can say that the function that you write here, tax, see, open parentheses, use income as the first argument and tax rate as the second argument and press OK. See, for the null value, it's used the 10% as a tax rate. For those who tax rate is provided, it's used the provided value in the calculation. If you want to use this custom function in other places, you can select this one, go to the home tab from the advanced editor, copy this one and paste it as a new query inside your destination files. But if this is a function that you use it in several files, there is a better way that you can use it. In this case, go to the advanced editor, copy, then let's say, close this one, yeah, and keep all the query. Create a destination for yourself and create a blank text files. Let's yeah let's write it as a tax and paste it here this is the formula that i use for calculation of tax let's save it and close it we need this address to use this custom function in any other files so let's select these excel files pesco let's neglect this one yeah Press Ctrl N to create a blank Excel files from data tabs, get data from file, from text or CSV, put the address of your custom function here and load it inside the Power Query. Yeah, this is my function. Let's transform it. This is the result including a table, including two columns. Let's back to the source. See, it's provided comma as a delimiter. I want to change it to something like, for example, these signs. And instead of two column, let's say one column. Yeah, the, pro the result would be provided in just one column. And you can see here. So let's say we do not need change type anymore. And here we just need all as a column one. Column one. Yeah. In type of list then we can use text.combine for it let's say text 
combine this is a text that I'm going to combine it let's close the parenthesis and see the result the result would be provided in type of text like this but instead of providing just in one line let's press comma and use inter character in the power query yeah see its result in a single text in the right shape that i want to use as a function but it is in type text not in type function to convert it to type function i just need to use expression.evaluate let's say expression.evaluate this is an amazing function for this one but if i close parenthesis and press enter does work this is the text of my functions but it is in type text it's not executable function to convert it from text to executable function it just need to add expression.evaluate expression.evaluate and close the parentheses let's see what's happened here yeah at the end close the parentheses and yeah now we have a function that we put it inside the text files this one and any times i change this one this formula would would be updated and i can write income is 100 here and this one taxes is 5 and invoke it see 100 multiplied by 5 result in this but let's back here inside this text formula instead of these i said that then income should be multiplied by 10 percent if uh, income is if tax rate is not provided otherwise income should be multiplied by tax rate instead of multiply let's say divided it's not rational but i want to check the result let's save it come here we have 500 here if i'm going to home and refresh all it changed to 20 so by doing this this formula would be changed because it's going to read from text files and then the result of all the files that use that custom function would be changed